Hey, welcome back. Glad to have everybody back again. We have a Adobe Illustrator tutorial. If you've been on Adobe Illustrator lately, you'll notice in the splash screen there's that inflatable effect on a letter. Looks like the letter was blown up like a balloon. And you see that trending a lot, people posting different graphics or different um, backgrounds, wallpapers and whatnot on Instagram or their videos on how they made it with TikTok. So I thought I would put together an easy tutorial for you all to use so you can kind of jump on that trend and, and make some graphics like that also. So since this will be a wallpaper, I'm going to make mine be a phone wallpaper, 1080 pixels wide by 1920 pixels tall. And I have RGB for the color mode. And because, again, this is going to be digital, not something printed out, I went with the screen preset at 72 PPI. So once that's there, we can click Create. And you can use any shapes for this. We're going to try to have uh, three main segments to this shape. So I'll start off just by making a rectangle that's about the size of the canvas. And I'm going to go blue. Mine is going to be Philadelphia Phillies related. They actually won a game today, so I'm ill with Philadelphia Phillies fever and it's kind of a tip of the cap to a t-shirt campaign they had a long time ago uh, so that's that's my inspiration you may want to use your own brand colors and your own logo or or you can put your initials or just a quote or something in this and make yours how you want so um, yeah I got my rectangle there I don't want to stroke around the outside of it I just want to fill with the color and then I can go over here and make a second rectangle. And then this rectangle will have be a different color. And again, I don't want there to be a stroke on this one either. And once I have that finished, this middle shape, I think it would be cool if it was a little bit wavy. It'll give me some more things to play around with. Uh, so going up to object and then down to envelope distort and make with warp and the ones I like the most I like flag quite a bit but I think I'm going to use raise and I'm going to use 10 for mine I don't want it to be raised that much uh, and then I'll have OK and so it's again this is all kind of the same width here I'm just filling up the space of my canvas with these shapes uh, this wavy shape I do want it to be an actual shape uh, so to do that I don't want it to be something that you know is just in that envelope distort mode so to turn it into an actual shape on its own find object and then find expand this little window pops up, object filler checked, and then I'll click OK. And now it just turns that in to its own little shape in there. You might need to recenter yours. It doesn't have to be perfect, it just works good. So I have two rectangles on here, and I want this to actually be three different shapes. So if I select all of that on there, and then I find my Pathfinder in my Properties panel, I'll go down here to Pathfinders. And the one I want to use is divide. And then if I go over here to my direct selection tool, the white arrow, I can see these are three different things now. So uh, select one of these shapes with that white arrow tool, and you'll find these little dots near the corner. If you click and drag them, you can round the edges a little bit. I don't want to do it too much, just a real little bit for effect. And maybe that one is a little bit. There we go. That's better. And there's my shapes. Now, next part, I want to put some text in here. You might have a logo or something that you want to use. I'm going to use, I'm going to type in the word ill and use this as like a word mark or just a little typography uh, from this and pick a color that you like for it. I'm going to use white so that it stands out and I'm kind of using those retro Phillies colors in there. 
and then I want to change my typeface uh, there is a good Adobe font called ice cream there's standard and slant I like to slant a little bit just adds a little something extra to the design and then I'll uh, fill it in there about like so so it looks good uh, I want to take out the dot of the letter I so again you if you're following along you'll do this if you're putting your own logo in there you can do that and then kinda fast forward to where I'm done with that but if you're following along uh, we can select this text and then go up here to type and then we want to find uh, create outlines and that's going to turn this into a shape if I use my wide arrow I can select these and for whatever reason with this type I still have the dot of the eye in the eye acting as one and that's easy to fix I can just right click here and I can select release compound path and now it'll let me select the eye so I can take that out and then over here in the shapes I'm gonna draw a star because that's just what the shirts looked like back in the day it was a different font from this era but that's okay and kind of space it out accordingly you can my mouse is kind of jumping around on me today need to clean it out so I'll use my trusty keyboard to get that set so that looks pretty good right there uh, all these shapes look fine um, and then I might need to just make sure I'm kind of arranged appropriately in here for this you can group this I guess if you wanted to and then make sure it's aligned that way also okay once that's done then we just want to select everything on here and then we want to either click over here on group or you can just right click on it and select group if it's not showing up in your quick actions and now it's all is one group on there I can always ungroup it later if I need to make changes then we want to go to effect while it's all selected I go up to effect and 3d and materials and we want to select inflate this might take a little while depending on uh, how powerful your computer is it's not too bad with mine if I make too many changes at once it'll it'll get a little laggy so I'll try to prevent doing that uh, while we're on here uh, so to begin this isn't what it will actually look like this is kind of your live view so if I go up here I can render with ray tracing this is what might slow it down but once I click on that you see you get the little progress bar and then it starts looking a little bit more realistic in there and we're getting that effect in there so you can change the depth you can twist it in the back a little bit I usually have twist down to zero and leave taper and volume all the way up in depth 10% looks pretty good with this right here you can always increase it more uh, materials there are a variety of different materials but I usually go with the default base material on here you can change the roughness and and whatnot but it looks weird if you're trying to inflate it and you're having this made out of brick or something like that uh, so that's something that you may want to keep in mind I usually just kinda of leave that alone and then lighting uh, you can choose where it's gonna be lit you can even have it be a diffuse light so if I click on here and you can see it starts to load up and there's not as much direct light in one area so it kind of softens it a little bit so then down here what I might do is go to my intensity for the color and I might change that to 40 or maybe even 50 and then I just click out of that box in there and let it re-render it on here for us and then you can change the height of the lighting for this uh, you or the angle of it you can you can change the rotation of the object also 
and then you can change the ambient light intensity also so what if I go down here and I type in 70 there we go and then I get a little bit better of a lighting effect in there so once I have that finished you can close out of this and this looks pretty cool as is uh, so then obviously you would want to save this as a illustrator file or if you're going to export it export it as a JPEG and then you can put that in your phone it's kind of a cool little effect in this one it just kind of looks like some like a matting or something that would be around the outside walls of a, of a ballpark or something like that that would be kind of fun to use but hopefully you enjoyed this tutorial and found it useful you can make something cool with it share it with me on code peterson if you make any awesome phone wallpapers always looking for a new wallpaper screen so appreciate you watching and we will catch you on the next tutorial video